Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week we are going to dodge and burn hair inside of Photoshop. Okay, let's get started dodging and burning hair inside of Photoshop. Now, the first thing that you want to define is what exactly is dodging and burning. Uh, dodging and burning in Photoshop is making areas that are darker dark and making areas that are light lighter. Um, and that creates contrast in your uh, photograph. So basically, if you're doing on the skin, it's kind of easy to think about that you're making contours in the face. If you want to make the jaw a little more prominent, then you would make that a little darker here. On the lighter area, you would make that lighter. So you'd be burning on the lower part and then dodging on the highlight part. So a lot of people, they don't think about doing the hair and the hair's part of the head. So um, part of that is gonna be um, crucial to making the, the photograph look um, uh, better overall. So I have this photograph here of this young lady and she has, uh, dark hair and one of the things that um, I like to do with someone who has dark hair is make sure that I get that contrast because first when you shoot it you're gonna have um, problems if they have dark hair and all you're seeing is just a silhouette around the uh, area you want to have some detail you want to have some uh, darks and lights in there even if their hair is black well her hair is not quite black but it's pretty dark so um, I like to go in there and do some dodging and burning. And when I do dodging and burning on hair, I don't use a layer, a separate layer for each, um, uh, one for light, one for dark. I just use one layer and I can make that layer 50% gray and I can use my light and dark based on whether I use white or black on my brush. And I'll show you what, I'm, what I mean here. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and create a new layer. And when we create this new layer, instead of just clicking the create new layer button down here, I'm going to hold alt on the keyboard and click. And that's going to bring up this new layer dialog box. And in here, the only thing that I want to do is I want to change the blend mode here to soft light. And then that allows for this fill with soft light neutral gray, uh, color, which is 50% gray. So I'll click that and say, okay. So now you see that I have this 50% gray layer that's over my actual photograph. And that's what I'm gonna be actually doing the dodging and burning. Now I'm not gonna use the actual dodge and burn tools. I don't think that that's always necessary because I'm kind of doing the same thing here with this 50% gray layer. So I'm just gonna use my brush tool. And when I get my brush tool, uh, first thing, let's set that up. I wanna make sure that I have a nice soft brush. I wanna make sure that my flow is fairly low. So maybe uh, somewhere around 10%. And that works out good for me. And I kinda of look at the whole area that I'm about to dodge and burn. And I see the areas that are light in here like like this and I see the areas that are dark like that and there's if you can just kind of train your eyes to see those light areas and those dark areas then basically all you're doing is going in and making those areas more contrasty so I always like to start with the burning part the darker part of it I always think about uh, the difference between dodging and burning is if I'm burning something, I'm making it darker, I'm turning it to ash. So that's kind of a, a good way to remember that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark first. So as you can see, I have black in my uh, brush here and I'm looking for those areas that are dark like this. And I'm just gonna start going in on that 50% layer and I'm darkening those areas in. And as you go along, you kind of see that you're, you can start to see those more 
the more you start doing all the other ones. Now, um, you can kind of take some creative license here too. You can just go in and make some areas that maybe wouldn't be that dark. Uh, you can go ahead and make those just for the drama of it. So we're, we're creating drama with this look. So that side looks pretty good. I'll make the brush a little bit bigger, get that area there and there. And you might be able to see, I'm not sure the video is translating this as dramatically as I see it on my screen, but you'll definitely be able to see it when we do the before and after here. So I'm just going in and particularly around the face here, I can see that shadow. I'm just going to bring that shadow in. I'm just going in painting. Like I've said many times, I have a Wacom Cintiq. So I'm drawing directly on the screen, which makes it a lot easier than using a mouse. If you do have a chance to get a Cintiq or any tablet, if you're going to do photo editing, then it really is a must. Okay, so I've done the burning part and I'll go ahead and just toggle this so that you can see that what I've actually done on the mask. I've just kind of gone in and made those areas darker. All right, so all I'm going to do is push X on my keyboard and switch to white and now I'm looking for the lighter areas that are here. Now I have to be a little more subtle with the light areas I've kind of seen because a little goes a long ways with the light. But you really want to go in there and take advantage of your tablet's stylus and you can just draw those lines in. Now I didn't retouch this photograph at all. All I've just worked on is just this dodging and burning. So really the effect is going to be really dramatic um, compared to the face, but on the face I would actually go in and do some dodging and burning which would make that a little less dramatic looking. Um, but this lesson is just on doing hair. Okay, so quickly I've gone in and I have made those areas that are light, lighter, and the areas that are dark, darker. And I'll show you the mask on that one. It's just like that. So you can see it just really goes in and covers uh, the light and the dark areas on there. Okay, so now let's take a look at the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. Now, if you think that that is a little bit too drastic, like I said, you're, it would really make a difference um, if I had retouched the face first, but I just wanted to be able to see the difference in the hair. But if you think that's too much, we did it on a layer here, it's on independent layer, and we can drop that down. So I always take it down to zero, and then just bring it in as much as I think I want it. So about 69% looks good. Before and after. Okay, that is our tutorial for this week. Um, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And make sure that you check out my new series on super quick, quick tips. Uh, we just started that last week and we will be doing that once a month. Um, just little simple tips that uh, maybe you know about, maybe they're undocumented. Make sure you check out that series and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Thanks.